When you purchase a home and financing is involved, a survey will be required. A survey is going to look at the outline of the property and it's going to check for is there any fences that are crossing the property line or your fence is on the neighbor's property line or any sheds. They're going to look for easements like a power company has special permission to have access through your property or to a portion of your property. They're also going to look at something called elevation. This comes into play when you're in a flood zone. When you're in a flood zone, they're going to determine where the property is in relation to sea level. So if you're below sea level, that's going to have a negative effect on your insurance and the rate's going to go up. If you're purchasing a stilt home that's say 10 or 15 feet above sea level, the rates will be considerably lower. Now the survey is typically ordered at the very end of the transaction. When everybody knows, okay, we're good to go, this is going to close, they will then order the survey. The reason they do it that way is the survey is about $350, $400, and they don't want to order the survey, incur the expense, can't close the loan, and then you're going to have some people upset. So whenever a survey is ordered, you know, we're pretty tight, it looks like we're going to close, we're good to go. Now there's something else called a survey affidavit. If the homeowner has recently had a survey and they haven't had any fences, sheds, or anything like that installed on the property, they could do what's called a survey affidavit. So they'll bring their certified survey to the title company and then they'll sign a survey affidavit. When they do that, you typically won't have to get a survey, so it'll save time, it'll save money, and just an additional benefit for you. But we'll check with a selling agent and make sure and, and see if their, their sellers have a survey. If they do, we'll collect it for you and make arrangements for this.